All right, what's happening? Lesson two. So, quick recap from lesson one. If you haven't watched it, please go watch it. It's important. Just that. But it's a myriad of that. And this is what I'm going to base everything else off of, is that real basic pentatonic scale. If you don't know what that means, we're going to talk a little bit about it more today. So we have this. Now we're going to add... We're going to get crazy. Okay, so I'm going to try to hit everything with my thumb. And I've already lied to you. I'm going to hit the upbeats, the up strums with my first finger. See that? I don't know if you can see that. This is not, not really set up for teaching. I'm set up for talking. We can do better, but we'll figure it out. So. See that? I'm coming. Okay. I'm adding one note, which is the fifth fret on the fifth string. It's my root note. Sometimes having the root on the string and on a on a on a barred note can feel really nice. So I'm going to do both together. And we're going to add the rest of the pentatonic scale on the first fret and the third fret. So, here's what I have. I have my open low string which we've talked about, my third fret. Now, okay, I'm not doing a scale straight up. It's not going to because I don't play scales that way, so I'm not going to we're doing it my way, okay? Stop complaining. So you have this string here. It's the low, the low string, open, and then three. And then the next string up, fifth string, open, three. Fourth string, open, three. Third string, no open string. The first fret. Three. Next string up, open, three. And then open, and three. I'm also going to add, because again, we're doing it my way, the fifth fret on the second string and the fifth fret on the fifth string. Those are our roots. So I've got a lot of roots to play with, okay? I have my sixth string open, my fifth string on the fifth fret, my fourth string open, my second string on the fifth fret, and my first string open. They're all roots. The only place I don't have a root right now is on the third string, which also doesn't have an open string. I know that seems intimidating. Don't worry, we're gonna, we're gonna, it's gonna be all right. So we're gonna take these first notes, and then in between those notes, we're gonna start adding stuff from the scale. Okay, that's third string, fifth fret. Third string, first fret, fourth string. The second time, I just went on my fifth string, seventh fret, up to the root. This exercise is great for, for just, again, finding variety. So, if you haven't watched the first video, I would encourage you to watch that because I'm going to talk about the same thing, which is keeping yourself limited, okay? We haven't moved up here yet. We haven't moved up here yet. We're not, we're not doing that. It's not that. Don't do that. Or do it, whatever. Have fun. Don't listen to me. But the point is, when I keep myself restricted, it allows me to be more creative because there's only so many notes. And the last thing anybody wants to hear is just a bunch of notes. So... When I keep myself restricted, now I have to focus on intent, on melody, on uh, dynamics. If you're not sure what dynamics means, it means, the note is the least important part. Okay, if I was playing...
gets boring pretty quick. But if I play... I have to keep working at it, but it's gonna, it catches your ear and you start going, ooh, what's that? There's a groove there, there's a movement there. It's hard and soft and loud and quiet. And, and it's that, that's where the music is. The music is not the notes, the music is how you play the note. And so working on this in just this area, we're gonna try to focus more on what am I playing as opposed to just the note. Am I playing it hard? Am I playing it soft? Two different ideas. Um, so, let's do something new. Okay, uh, I'm taking all these different, all these different notes. So again, just on those for on the on the third fret, first fret, I am adding a couple roots, but but that's not the point. Okay, so the point is, I'm just using a few notes. And if you're sitting there going like, well, which finger? That's a great question. A lot of times, <sighs> okay, I'm not the most consistent player. Which brings me to something else. Before we continue, let me just say this too. I'm also not the cleanest player. My technique is, is by no means pristine. I'm pretty sloppy. Really, when it, when you get into the world of like Del Rio players and lap steel guys, I'm, I, I am at times embarrassed by how sloppy I am. But it's part of what brings my style and my vibe. So I, I kind of stick with it and, and I work on it when I can and when I, when I feel inspired to. Point is this. Oftentimes for me, the top strings, I have two different ways of playing. One is going to be um, thumb, index, middle which is a traditional, a more traditional sort of banjo dobro thing where um, I don't really know how to explain it, but as it's basically it's a, if, if I'm on three strings and I'm gonna move up Those obviously are not all the notes that we're using, but the point, I mean, because, because just because of this one, but the point is, that is one way where I'm, when I'm working, that's, that's a grip that I'm going to use, is, is a, is a, these three grip. The other one, and, and I switch between them sort of in ways that I don't always anticipate, so you got to bear with me, because it, I'm not that consistent, and I'm, I'm doing my best. Um, is going to be thumb sort of on the lower strings. Thumb on the lower strings. And then my these fingers are on the upper strings. Okay? And so in, in the context of this exercise that we're talking about... I'm going with my middle finger on the second string, and my ring finger on the high string, first finger on the third string. So they're kind of like little soldiers, they man their posts. And then I switched at the end to that, to that kind of three-fingered grip. So, so it's... I. Th Okay, point is this, it doesn't matter. The technique is secondary for me. And again, if you're looking for technique, lessons with Troy. Uh, MikeWitcher.com. Same joke, every video. I've just decided I'm gonna make that happen. That's the plan, anyway, we'll see. It'll last until I forget. Point is this, so for this exercise, um, Thumb on the bottom three for sure, for the groove, and then add some notes.
see, and here, it's the same note. Don't be afraid of playing the same note over and over again. Don't be afraid of, when you hear a singer and they're, and they're I'm definitely not singing for you right now. Don't worry. Uh, but you know. Wake up mama. There we go, now I'm singing. Right? Those sort of like, that stuff is gonna, is, is where a singer is and they can, wake up mama. And we can make it hard. So these are the things that, I'm not doing it consciously and I don't know that, that by the time I got to be a decent player, I don't know that I ever was doing it consciously. I used to hear people say things like play what's honest or play like a vocalist and I didn't understand what was happening. And what I was doing was I was just playing scales as fast as I could. And the scale is just the notes, but it's not a melody. And you can follow the scale for a melody, but it's not gonna give you the things that you're looking for. What you're looking for is, is some sort of groove and some sort of emotion, hard and soft. Right? Hard, soft, soft, hard. Medium, hard, soft, hard. I don't know, I'm just doing stuff. Right, here we are. I'm, I'm using just the notes we talked about. Those are the only ones. And I took out a couple of the open strings just because they were redundant, but they're there too. Let's see. Right. So I can take that. in that little box. The more I stay restricted here, and the more I keep it here, and the more I try to just play really controlled in this area, as we move up, and we're gonna move up, I promise, as we move up, it gets more, um, uh, it, it's gonna get easier. The trick is staying down here, okay? If I can do it down here, then as we move up, I have a method for learning new little areas. And then once I learn the little areas, I can start connecting them together. And we're gonna get there, I promise. But I want, if you're, if you're here and you're trying to learn this stuff, don't jump too far ahead too fast. Sit there with that groove. Sit there with, with, the, with just these notes. The biggest frustration I have as a teacher is when people try to jump ahead too fast because this area, this is still a good exercise that I could do more and I'm gonna do now once I turn this camera off. And the whole point is, if I sit down and I practice right here, I'm gonna come up with a ton of ideas because it's not about the notes. It's not about playing all the notes and it can't even be about playing fast. And that's not the point. You, you, you're gonna want speed to be able to accomplish the things you want to accomplish. Sometimes my, my use of speed is just to have fun and go fast. But the note that matters is almost never the one in the middle of that fast run. The one that matters, that one at the end. Okay, so I want you to work right here in this little area. It's not about playing fast. Fast is stupid. No, it's not, it's fun. But almost always the reason I'm playing fast is to be impressive. The notes, the hard notes to find are that one that makes you go, makes you go, yeah. That little fast part helps, but it's it's about that last note. That's the one that makes you go like, yeah, all right, that's a cool note right there. So practice that, find the cool note, get your groove, get your dynamics. Also, it's about having fun. Here's the other thing. Don't sit there with a freaking metronome. Hmm, try not to swear. Don't sit there with a metronome and just and just click, click, click. Put a, put a drum machine on. If you have a computer, you probably have a drum machine. Go find drum grooves on YouTube. Find something that you can play along with that's gonna fit with your skill set. Don't go too fast, but find things that are enjoying. It's supposed to be fun. It's not supposed to be practice. You know, it's like Alan Iverson. Practice? You're talking about practice. Don't practice. Play. Have fun. The best piece of advice I ever got was just play and love every minute of it. And 
that's where it's at. So just play. Find ways to make this less about practicing and more about playing within a certain set of constrictions. The same way you'd be playing within a certain set of constrictions within a song. This is just a really tight. All right, go play. I'm going to also. Thanks. Yeah.